This instructional video covers technical practices and procedures for using a multi-channel pipetter. Using correct pipetting technique is necessary to get accurate results with Neogen's test kits. If, after watching this video, you have unanswered questions, please contact your Neogen representative. Background and Overview Pipetters are instruments commonly used with Neogen's kits to draw up and dispense very small volumes of liquid. The most common pipetter used is the 100 microliter adjustable multi-channel pipetter, although others are needed at times. This symbol refers to microliter, which is 1 1,000th of a milliliter. Because the volumes are so small, correct technique is essential to performing Neogen's test correctly. These pipetters can draw up different volumes depending on how far the plunger is depressed and the volume setting on adjustable pipetters. The brand of pipetter in this video is the Fin Pipette Adjustable Multi-Channel Pipetter. We also have instructional videos for pipetters that can draw up a fixed volume with no overfill level and adjustable single-channel pipetters with an overfill level. Preparing a pipetter for use it is a good idea to wear gloves and other personal protection equipment for the other steps in accordance with your company policy. Before using a pipetter, it is critical to ensure the correct pipetter and volume setting is selected. The volume a pipetter can draw and dispense is displayed on the dial gauge on the outside of the pipetter. To set an adjustable pipetter's volume, pull the knob on the top of the pipetter plunger and turn the knob in either direction to adjust the setting. Once the correct volume is selected, push the knob back to the original position to lock into place. Once the correct pipetter or volume setting is selected, the pipetter should be evaluated to ensure it should be used. If the pipetter has any missing or damaged parts, it should not be used. If a calibration program is in place and the pipetter is out of calibration, it should be calibrated before use. Pipetters should also be clean on the outside, and tips should fit snugly into the pipetter. Plastic tip boxes come pre-filled with tips, and a common practice is to manually refill boxes from bags of tips. When refilling tip boxes, be sure to wear new disposable gloves. Once the correct pipetter and volume is selected, and functionality is verified, the pipetter is ready for use. The first step is to attach plastic tips to the end of the pipetter. Neogen recommends using plastic tip boxes where tips are placed upright into a box instead of attaching by hand. Attach the tips by holding the pipetter with your hand so that the thumb is on top and the finger hold faces outward. Determine the number of tips to attach by counting the number of controls and samples. Position the pipetter over the number of tips required and lower down into the tips and gently rock the pipetter from side to side to ensure a tight fit. After attaching tips, pull the pipetter out and snug each tip by pushing the upper part of the tip onto the pipetter nozzle by hand. If tips are loose, re-snug or discard and attach new tips. If tips can't be snugged, the pipetter may need to be cleaned or repaired. There are different methods to ensure the correct volumes are dispensed with these pipetters. Any of these methods are acceptable as long as good technique is followed to ensure consistent, accurate liquid volumes are dispensed. The different methods include forward technique and reverse technique, forward or exact technique. The forward or exact technique is good for pipetting liquids that do not foam easily or that are in limited supply. Depress the plunger to the first stop of position 1. Lower the pipetter so that the tip is placed under the surface of the liquid in the wells or reagent boats to about 1 cm and with the pipetter square to the wells or reagent boats so that one side of the pipetter is not higher or lower than the other side. Slowly release the plunger to position 2. This action fills the tips. Withdraw the tips from the liquid touching against the edge of the container to remove any excess liquid. Slightly raise the pipetter so that the filled tip is just above the liquid that remains in the wells or reagent boats and repeat these initial steps to prime the tips with the liquid which ensures equal volumes of liquid are drawn and dispensed. Check the fluid in the tips for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. If you see any air bubbles, 
dispense and redraw the liquid following the same procedure, or dispense the liquid and attach new tips. If tips are leaking, discard and begin again. If the liquid and the tips are not all at the same fluid height, dispense liquid back into the wells or reagent boats, re-snug or discard the tips, attach new ones and redraw. Bring the pipetter with filled tips to the receiving wells and place the tips against the inside walls of the wells as close to the bottom or as close to the top of any existing liquid in the vessel as possible. Slowly depress the plunger to the first stop of position 3 in the diagram. After a delay of one second, continue to depress the plunger all the way down to position 3 in the diagram. This action empties the tips. While holding the plunger all the way down at position 3, slowly raise the pipetter while keeping the point of the tips against the inside wall of the wells. This is known as dragging the tips after dispensing. Next, position the pipetter with tips over a waste receptacle and release the plunger knob to position 4 and eject the tips. Reverse or overfill technique. To use the reverse or overfill technique, depress the plunger knob to just under the first stop at position 1. Lower the pipetter so that the tips are just under the surface of the liquid about 1 centimeter, and with the pipetter square to the wells or reagent boats so that one end of the pipetter is not higher or lower than the other side. Slowly release the plunger knob all the way to the top of position 2. This action fills the tips. Withdraw the tips from the liquid, touching against the edge of the container to remove any excess liquid. Repeat the steps to prime the tips. Next, raise the pipetter with the filled tips and drag the tips against the side of the wells or reagent boats to remove any liquid that may have stuck to the outside of the tips. This is known as dragging the tips. Check the fluid in the tips for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. If you see any air bubbles, dispense and redraw the liquid following the same procedure, or dispense the liquid and attach new tips. If tips are leaking, discard and begin again. If the liquid in the tips are not all at the same fluid height, dispense liquid back into the wells or reagent boats, re-snug or discard the tips, attach new ones and redraw. Bring the pipetter with filled tips to the wells and place the tips against the inside walls of the wells as close to the bottom or as close to the top of any existing liquid as possible. Slowly depress the plunger to the first stop of position 3 in the diagram and drag the tips out of the microwells. There will be liquid remaining in the tips. Next, position the pipetter with tips over a waste receptacle and push the plunger knob all the way down to discard the remaining liquid. Release the knob to position 4 and eject the tips. Calibrating pipetters. Neogen recommends calibrating your pipetters once a year. New pipetters come with calibration certificates that are good for one year from the date of first use. Pipetters can also be checked for calibration by following any of the steps mentioned before for pipetting. Checking calibration is also a good way to practice pipetting. To check calibration, using either method described earlier, pipette one draw of all 12 tips at 100 microliters of distilled water into an empty reagent tray that has been zeroed out on a scale. For the 100 microliter pipetter, the weight of the distilled water from the 12 tips should weigh from 1.16 to 1.24 grams. If the weight is outside of this range, the pipetter should be sent in for calibration. Neogen offers calibration services and all of the products shown in this video. Please contact your Neogen representative to learn more. Neogen is available and ready to help with additional support or products.